like a fish. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Sam. Today I thought I would just provide you with a little update slash advice video. I don't know, but um, I know a lot of college students especially have been just really trying to figure out these past few weeks whether or not they should go back to school or like should they do remote learning. I really feel for out of state students and international students, um, especially with the way the situation is looking here in America is like um, not ideal. But um, I just thought I would share what I'm doing and what my situation is and kind of like my thought process and how I got to this decision. So without further ado, let's just get on into the video. So first big question out of the way, what am I doing for the fall 2020 semester? I am going to be attending classes. However, I will be doing it remotely. This bed, this, this room is gonna be my classroom for the next Three months? Four months? I know we're definitely ending early. We're ending right around Thanksgiving break and having online finals, but my finals were gonna be online regardless. I definitely was lucky enough to be able to get into classes that I could use for my major or for gen eds um, that were gonna be online. So I was definitely really fortunate there. And honestly, with the way things are going now, I don't anticipate people staying on campus for very long. Just from like, you know, the whole situation is progressing. I don't think, I just don't think it's feasible that everyone's gonna be able to stay on campus for the whole semester. And I also think it would just be a really big hassle to move in and then end up having to move out really soon afterwards. It's just so much work. So I just opted to stay home. I also think, I don't think, I know for sure, staying home and not having to pay for like housing or meals, it's definitely good because then we can just like save that money. I mean, I feel like it's very self-explanatory. I don't think tuition is gonna be discounted. I think only Princeton has done that so far, but um, it's still gonna be like a huge chunk of money we don't have to pay for stuff. I know a lot of my friends are going, um, mainly because they're on either like a shortened schedule. And what I mean by that is like they're graduating early. I have friends who are pre-med who are taking the MCAT soon and need to get those classes in and they're only offering those in person. All I can say is be safe, you guys. Wear your mask, stay away from people, like try and keep yourself as healthy as possible. Don't take unnecessary risk this semester. I don't want anyone to like D word, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know if YouTube demonetizes. I, I don't know what their restrictions are now. It's just kind of weird. One of my past videos got demonetized and I was like, for what? I didn't even do anything. It was a vlog. That's besides the point. So now moving on for tips for deciding or how I decided, I think you just definitely have to look at where you are. So like for me, I'm a rising sophomore. So I have a good chunk of time until graduation. And I definitely think it's different for people who are rising juniors or rising seniors. Like you only have so much time left. <laughs> I don't know why that was so stilted. I forgot the left. I also would definitely recommend emailing your professors. I, I know I had a couple of, they're called like hybrid classes. So like some would meet in person a couple of days and then some would be online instruction. The other, sorry, <laughs> the other rest of the days would be online. And I know definitely if you, express to your professor like, hey, I'm really hoping that I can complete this entire course remotely because I just don't feel safe. Whatever your reasons are, just be really transparent with your professors. And a lot of them are actually willing to make allowances unless there's like something within their department that they can't control. I know I emailed one of my professors and she said she was definitely willing to make up some stuff for people who want to complete the course remotely. And to me, that was like, that was like a huge weight lifted off my chest, you know? Just really reach out to them and be, this is so annoying, I used to hear this saying all the time, but it's definitely true. Be proactive, get out there, email them, and make sure that you're communicating well with them to see if they can make an allowance for you. I would also definitely look at how things are progressing um, where your college is. So for me, I go to UNC Chapel Hill. That big article came out about a bunch of student athletes and staff, you know, getting sick. It didn't exactly reassure me. It's not like, it's not a university, like, how do I say this without sounding shady? <laughs> I just don't want to say the wrong thing. I just didn't feel safe. I didn't think it would be a good idea for me to go back. It doesn't take a lot for people to get sick and I don't want to risk accidentally bringing that home to my family. So I hate that this video is so like 
serious but I just wanted to to really be like open with what I'm doing here so last section of this video um is my advice for incoming freshmen stay home <laughs> Honestly, if you can, if you have the privilege and the resources to stay home or take a gap year or can you defer enrollment, I guess that's taking up your, I don't really know the, the specifics, or go to a community college that's offering online classes, knock out a lot of your gen eds or your intro classes if you know what you want to major in already, knock out a lot of those intro classes online, save your money, stay safer. You're not, like, I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm going to be really honest you're not going to get the like true freshman college experience. Like you're just not gonna get it. From what I've heard, they're not going to let you out to do things. <laughs> and that's the bluntest way I know how to put it. Like you're gonna get to go to class and you're gonna be in your dorm. Like that's, that's all. I definitely think it's not gonna feel the same on campus. Everyone's gonna be so wary of one another. Like, so I definitely think the best option is to stay home at least for the fall semester. Hopefully we get a vaccine and the spring semester is more or less back to normal and we are back to our regularly scheduled activities and everything is fun. Again, <laughs> just wait it out, wait it out. So that was just a little update, my advice, my tips, I don't know. I could say all these things and I know there's gonna be people who are gonna disagree with me and think it's fine. I mean like so I just wanted to let you guys know what I was doing for my little update hopefully help any incoming freshmen or honestly any college student who's really trying to decide what to do that's just my take on things it could be different in your situations the only thing I can say for everyone is really just approach it from all angles and make the best decision that you see fit <laughs> is that right and yeah, everything's gonna work out. Hopefully everything works out. Here's one way I've been coping with it. I've been thinking about all the things I'm gonna do spring semester. That's been keeping me sane. Also, I would definitely recommend if studying from home is something that you do well in, you're a person that you feel like you can handle it, take a heavier course load in the fall so that when spring semester comes, you can actually have more time to have fun. I don't know, that's just me. If you're a freshman, maybe don't take that advice. It's your first semester. I also don't want you to feel overloaded. So yeah, a lot of my college vlogs are gonna be and mi casa. Woo! Love that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to help in some way, even if it was just a little bit. I forgot to say this, but um, let me know down in the comments below what you're planning to do for this semester. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions and what you guys are doing. Yeah, I'm just really interested to hear what you guys have to say. So yeah, leave those down below. Thank you guys for watching my video, and I will see you next week. Bye! <laughs>